Hey guys, welcome to Happy Coding for Everyone channel. What will you learn from this video? Typography, H1, text method, display, and more. Let's start coding. Let me create our project file first. PT2 HTML. I'm going to use some template with pt1 html let's copy that one and let's create a template html file to use in our future projects let's pass let me remove those things we don't need it save it and let's copy that one close it Let's close the that one and pass here and close that section. So our project is ready to run. Let's run our server first. Let's start from heading options. Headings. Let's make it commented out. So we are going to use bootstrap classes. Let's start. P h1 so we create pip paragraph tag and use h1 h1 is bootstrap classes as you remember we added our cdn so we are fetching all costs from bootstrap server so that type is going to be fetched from bootstrap server in one Let's save it and have a look at it. You see, guys, there are total six different values for H1, between H1 to H6. Let me show them by one by. Let's save it and have a look at it. You see, guys, we see the all options. I want to show another class in H6 class. Let me create another tag, small and class text muted. Say bootstrap. Save it. Let's have a look at it. You see, guys, you can use sort of design in your heading. Let me copy and edit H1. To see it clearer and save it let's have a look at it that is the difference let's have a look at another one I just want to add a HR tag to to separate it save it let's have a look at it you see guys HR is creating that line let's create another P tag with display one display one let's save it and have a look at it you see guys you can also create your headings like this there are also total six value as h6 between display one to six let's save it and have a look at it that is another heading example. Let's put another HR here. And let's have a look at another class. P lead. Let's put a text. Lorem 5. Save it. Let's have a look at it. You can see sort of text by using lead. We use all of them in our future project. We will create lots of real world examples and we will use each of them in our project. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next video.